In this video, I will show you a complete review and tutorial of the plugin Stackable. Stackable is the perfect WordPress plugin if you need to create a website using the block editor. In fact, if you install Stackable into your WordPress website, you will transform it into a complete page builder. But using Gutenberg, that's great. You will have responsive options, you will have over options, a lot of cool designs effects, and I can say that almost the 80% of all these great features are already packed into the free version of Stackable, so it's great even if you're just starting out. If you don't want to miss all the resources, discounts and offers that I share with you during this video, make sure to watch it till the end. Hi, my name is Pascal and I'm the creator of TakeAtutorial.com and TakeAtutorial YouTube channel. So if you like WordPress reviews, tutorials, deals and news, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and activate the notification bell if you want to know each time I upload a new video. Let's make a quick tour of the plugin. You'll see that there is a free version on WordPress.org and you can install it and test it out as we, I will show you during this video. And it's used by 70,000 people and updates are really frequent. So so you are in good hands when you use Stackable. Then you will see that there is also um, an official website where you can explore all the features, pricing. You will also have this page, the feature page, which is great in order to explore and go deep into all the, the features that you have when you use Stackable. And most of them, we will cover them in this video, so you will be able to see them in action directly. And we have more than 30 blocks. Uh, I guess they are 39 at the moment and uh, you can basically build anything using these blocks and then here there are a lot of features and you can just scroll down and see that the premium ones are featured like this with this color and the others at, uh, are already there even in the free version that's great so by scrolling here you will be able to discover everything uh, about the pricing there are two uh, different kind of offers the first one is the one that you find here on the website on the actual website and it's already interesting but it's not as good as the second offer that I will show you in a, in a minute but let's talk about this one you'll see that there is a free version here that you can download from wordpress.org and use on your website and we will see it in action during this video and then if you need to um, to go and get premium version to get all the premium uh, features you just need to choose between one of these licenses or just choose the other offer that, that I will show you in a minute uh, these licenses are just different because you can use them on different numbers of websites. So uh, the first one, single website, the second one, three websites. And this one is great because you can use this license on unlimited websites and it's quite affordable because for this price, you will be able to install and use Stackable on whatever website you need and you want, even your client's website. So it's great. And then if you want to pay only once, you can choose this license here. Uh, and for $499, you pay only once and you get access, unlimited access to support and you can install Stackable on unlimited websites. That's great. So if you are creating websites for your clients, by creating only one website, you will repay the cost of your agency lifetime license. So I think it's quite affordable, but if you're not happy with this, there is even a more affordable offer right now at the moment I'm recording this video, there is this offer on AppSumo, which is great because you are able to buy Stackable for a lifetime by spending very, very, very little. You see here for $59, you get three licenses that you can use on three websites. And if you want, you can also stack more than one code. If you scroll down here, for example, you will see that you will be able to multiply this uh, offer. For example, if you buy two of these codes, you will be able to use this uh, 10 lifetime license on 10 different websites. If you stack three codes, so it means if you buy three codes, you will get access to 50 licenses to apply them on 50 uh, websites. And if you stack four codes, you get unlimited websites. And even the four codes, it's uh, kind of the half price of the unlimited here on their website. So it's a huge offer. I don't know how much time it will last. So at the moment I'm recording this video, it's still here. So I hope you will find it still alive. This, <laughs> this offer will be still alive when you watch this video and you will be able to buy now and get a um, lifetime access for just a few bucks. It's a, it's a great offer and we will talk about it also later on during this video. So if you need to buy, there are two options. The first one is this one and the second one is through AppSumo. 
I also wanted to mention that Stackable won the Monsters Award 2021 here as the first place, as the best Gutenberg plugin in the first place, and uh, they also managed to arrive in the first three, they are a third place here in 2022. So they are winning awards and uh, they are very, very used by, by the community and they very loved by community, of course. They have a beautiful community on Facebook and so I invite you to join them if you want to explore and they have also a beautiful roadmap. If you go on resources and you click on roadmap on their website, you will see also all their, their planning for the future, which is great because you see that they are working hard and they are, they are committed to uh, getting better and better with their product. You can also go and, um, and see the team behind it. It's a very young team and they're uh, very, very um, happy and uh, all nice with smile, smiles. And uh, they are from Gambit Technologies, it's the name of the, of the business the behind uh, Stackable. And you see here there is the logo, Stackable logo. And then they are from Philippines. So if you are wondering where are they building Stackable, here in Philippines. And that's it. So make sure to check on AppSumo before buying the premium version. Now we are ready to start to dive into this beautiful plugin. To install and test Stackable, we just need to go on Plugins, Add New, and we will search for the free version of Stackable. Let's write down Stackable. Okay, we will see that there are more than 70,000 active installations, which is a, a huge number already. There are frequent updates, as you can see here, the last one was six days ago. It's always compatible with our version of WordPress and we have also a lot of good positive reviews. So it's a great plugin, as I was mentioning before, and uh, I like it personally. I use it in different kind of projects and um, I just wanted to show you how it works. So let's click on install. Okay, let's activate this plugin. If you want, you can also, um, um, how do you say, click on allow and continue if you want to share non-sensitive data with uh, Freemius or if you prefer to skip, you can also skip in this case. Okay, we click on get started and here there is a quick wizard but it's kind of uh, not very interesting. If you want, you can just choose to enable or disable some options and then we can click on finish. We are all set. Here there is a kind of quick links to different parts of the settings and the, ma the main one of course it's the settings tab. From this tab we can scroll down and the same tab if you want to reach it you will reach it under settings and stackable here on the left side. When you scroll down here, I was mentioning, you can add um, Google Maps API keys if you want to insert some custom Google Map blocks enabling different kind of uh, advanced options. But you, you need to know that in general, you have a basic custom uh, Google Maps module using um, Stackable, which is already great. So even if you don't in insert here your Google API key, uh, it will work fine for the basic options. Here you can enable or disable the design library. I encourage you to leave it enabled because we will use it during this tutorial. And later you can also optimize inline CSS, enable or disable the navigation panel, which I don't like it very much, but I leave it enabled to see you this, this feature in action. And down here we also have uh, some interesting options. I suggest you to enable this option because uh, it's an option that will speed up your creative process in some in some cases. So let's leave it enable this one. And then down here, the other stuff are almost uh, non useful in this case. If you want, you can enable or disable some blocks. If you found, if you find out, for example, that uh, there are some blocks that you don't use, for example, and here the last option, if you want, you can, uh, um, how do you say, get rid of the go premium notices. Okay, in this case, let's leave them, check it off, uh, check it up, check it on. <laughs> okay, so that's it basically, and these are the general settings. You can also quick uh, access documentation, you can contact the support system, and if you want, you can go premium. So this is the basics of uh, Stackable, but when you have to use it and test it, you just need to go on new page, and you will find all the 39 blocks at your disposal here. So let's say this is a test, so stackable test. And when you go here on the plus icon, 
you will see normally at the top of the of the listing you will see stackable blocks if you don't find them immediately just scroll down as uh, until you see them and there are 39 blocks at the moment and if you over with the mouse you will see um, uh, a preview on the right side here uh, as you can see and the main uh, the main block it's the column container block because this one is the block that, he, that you can use to create almost any kind of structure and complex design for all your pages home page landing pages and so on so when you click on this this uh, kind of um, how do you say block it will ask you if you want uh, um, a kind of a special structure for example 100% two columns two columns 30 70 and so on you you will be able to customize all the different options uh, also later on so for example let's say that we want a 50 50 column uh, structure we click here and this is basically the the way that you will use to create content so you can uh, for example go here and tell the system that you need this column to be full width then on the left side you can add uh, some heading and text and so on hello I'm a page and down here you can insert a subtitle this is a sub title and the interesting stuff is that here uh, you got actually a block which is called subtitle and you can style it globally going here going to global typography and you have this subtitle uh, element here that you can style globally all over your website for example we can make it like this we can transform it and make it uppercase we can give it a little bit more of letter spacing for example something like this okay and then we can go on weight we can make it a little bit uh, light for example 200 and and so on so this will be globally applied on uh, all the subtitles throughout my website and then i can add some images on the right side for example by using the stackable blocks and i can add them from my media library i don't have images right uh, right now at the moment but you can just add it very simply very quickly and so this as i was mentioning is the basic block so it's the column container block and when you go in the options here you will see that there are three level of options the first one it's uh, about the block itself the second one it's about the styling so colors uh, typography and so on and the third one it's about advanced stuff so you can uh, position transform motion effects uh, some of these are just um, available only in the premium version as you will see here some other options are uh, already available in the free one and uh, uh, basically with all these options you can do whatever you want you can add a background for example you can add a background color or a background gradient for example like this by using two colors you can have a gradient or you can also change it like this and you can also change the options of your gradient like this about the um, direction also like this and so on so you can uh, basically you can achieve any kind of different designs and uh, when you go in the columns here you can also oh, or just here you can go on the alignment you can align vertically center align and do whatever you want by um, by tweaking this out you can also change everything in a mobile view for example this is great because you can uh, for example here go to tablet mode and everything you change here will be applied only to tablet and mobile mode so for example if i decide that in tablet mode i want uh, everything to be uh, centered and 100 uh, percent i can go here and tell the system that my column needs to be 100 percent and i can align everything at the center to the center and i can do the same thing with the second column i'll tell him to make it 100 percent and i also tell to align center and if I want I can also change sizing for example the second column I want the container the content to be um, like this for example maximum width of 350 pixel and if I go back to my desktop view voila that's it so you see how easy it is and tablet mode will be like this and mobile mode will be like this and I will be able to change everything each and every value and each and every part of the of the website for any kind of device this is uh, one of the main uh, great features that are at your disposal in stackable free and uh, it allows you to create perfectly mobile responsive websites and this is great because it's something that is still missing in um, in the, in Gutenberg blocks uh, out of the box so when you use stackable blocks you will be sure 100% that you will be able to customize everything on each mobile in each device and when you go on advanced the interesting thing uh, about responsive it's that 
that you can also hide um, whatever you want uh, in different kind of views. For example, let's say that you want to get rid of this second column when you are on tablet mode. You can go on advanced, you can go on responsive and say the system that you, you gotta hide this content here on tablet. So when we go on tablet, this content here will be hidden. Now we will see it because we are in backend, but when you preview the page and you go in tablet mode, oh, let's say that we are here, update. Let's check that our responsive mode, it's hide on tablet, perfect, okay. Oh yeah, of course, we didn't add any image, so <laughs> it looks like it's uh, empty. Let's add something. Okay, I add my image here. Now if I go on preview, Let's check it out. The image is showing up correctly. And now if I want to check it out from the tablet mode, I can go on inspect. I can go on tablet mode. So I will switch here to my tablet iPad, for example, iPad Air. And that's it. You see here, we, we are not seeing the image because on, on iPad, on tablet mode, it's hidden. And if we switch back to our phone mode, it will be visible. And if we switch back to our desktop mode, it's still visible. So this is great. It's a great feature. And uh, as I was mentioning, it's all available in your free version of Stackable. Let's go on by seeing all the flexibility that you have when you use this column container structure. If you go if you go here on block you can you saw you can align everything differently but it's interesting because you can also go on size and spacing and you can um, play around with uh, all the options here but the most important thing it's styling general here you can add more columns if you need you can decide different kind of content width for example in this case we can also align the content to the center for example and it will inherit the content of your theme for example, here the content, as you see, it's um, it's here. And once we enable these options and we update, all the content will be aligned to the center. In this case, it's a little bit, uh, yes, it's not uh, perfectly like this because the theme works like this. But if I switch theme, I will see that uh, it will inherit all the maximum width of the of the theme. So it's great. And when you go on here, you can also increase or decrease your column gap. This is great to achieve uh, the perfect design that you have in your mind. You can also do the same thing about row gap. So if you have more than one row, you will be able to increase or decrease the distance. And for example, here, if we go on preview, we will see that we have increased a little bit the distance between the, the two uh, columns. And um, you can also uh, easily add some, uh, all the other kind of options. So you can, for example, here go to border and shadows, increase the border radius, or you can also um, make it like this, for example, and have a border color like this. And you can play around with all the options that you need. And then if you want to replace elements, it's easy like this. You can just switch and all the elements will be replaced like this. As I was mentioning, you can also add or get rid of some columns. For example, like this, you can remove uh, or you can add new columns. If you go here and you go to columns and you simply increase or decrease the number and you will be able to add more content or remove some content. In this case, if you remove by accident, you can go back like this. And um, you got also some cool background options, as you saw before, gradient, single. You can add images as background, for example, like this. And you can also add some effects, like for example, this parallax effect, or you can increase or decrease the, of the effect of the overlay. And you can also change the overlay. Of course, if you want a different color as an overlay, you can do it like this. You can change, of course, the color of the different elements like this, for example, and you can also apply a gradient to your text, for example. This is great. Uh, it's a great effect, I think. And um, you can play around with this. If you have finished like this, you see you can achieve some cool effects like this. You can also use videos as background if you upload small videos in loop. And uh, it's a great solution to achieve different kind of call to actions and uh, uh, great stuff. Another cool option, it's um, dividers. They are already at your disposal in the free version. So if you go on the column container, 
when you scroll down on the block uh, block um, options you will find top separator and bottom separator these are kind of cool dividers that allows you to apply some cool designs to between one section and another so for example here we can enable the bottom one and you will see this cool effect appears when you are have the um, premium version you will have more effects to choose from and you will also have more layers because you can apply different layers if you want to this dividers and these are cool I, I think here you can also as you can see here change the options you can increase decrease the different kind of uh, of settings and you can also apply some shadows outlines and different effects and you can also change them here by changing also the color of this effect let's see if for example we will uh, need to apply this one okay and we can also increase the blur we can increase the offset we can also make the opacity more uh, important <laughs> so here we can go like this and we can achieve whatever effect we are trying to achieve as you see here and this is great you can also uh, play around with the second section for example here if i need to add a second section let's duplicate this one for example duplicate and we can get rid of the um, of the bottom okay so let's go here on the gear icon we go on the bottom and we apply the top one in this case and uh, we can apply a different kind of effect this one okay <laughs> that's great you see so while we scroll we can achieve different kind of design effects we can also apply a background color now in this case we need to to be white and we can also apply our shadow outline we go like this outline and we blur a little bit we increase the vertical offset we, we can increase this one too and voila that's it so you can play around and obtain different kind of designs and once we update we can go and preview what we are doing and all this it's free uh, this is a cool effect you see also the parallax effect of our image it stays there and uh, you can uh, and here if you want you can also change this color you can put some elements inside here and you will obtain some cool effects and you can also change the color for example here we can go and say that we want this background color to be different for example we can use this one or this one maybe this one it's a little bit too uh, to light but you get the idea so here we can also change of course the color and also here we can change it like this and like this for example and when we go back to our preview we are we have this cool effect that are that it is changing the color of the background while we are scrolling with the parallax effect <laughs> that's great and um, then i wanted to show you also that you can apply a cool effect here if you select your image you can go on advanced and you can go on position and you can for example here go like this and like this and you can achieve some cool designs like this like this one for example or you can also um, play around with your image you can also go on style and play around with the oh no sorry on the block on the sides and spacing and you can play with margins which is a little bit different you see here <laughs> the effect and uh, voila that's it so you get it yeah, there are some cool options here and you can apply them and achieve different kind of designs already using the free version of stackable Another really, really cool feature which is already at your disposal in the free version of Stackable, it's the hover system. So for example here, if you go on the right side and you go on style, uh, for some of these options, you will see that there is this icon which says hover state. So for example, if you want to change the color of this text while you hover with the mouse, it will be interesting so you can just enable this hover and you will tell the, um, the, um, the software here to change color, for example. So, so Stackable knows that now when I hover with the mouse, you see, that's great. And you can also go further. For example, you can add a shadow outline and we can say that we want uh, a shadow outline. For example, we want uh, a custom one. So let's make it with, with a, a strong color. For example, this one, which is a, a clear color. We can go and like this, we can make it a little bit more strong like this. We can go like this and maybe put it like minus four and minus uh, five. 
okay and just to, to show you how it works and uh, nothing <laughs> nothing nothing really nice here but really really simple to apply you see here that's cool and you can apply the same thing to images you can apply it to buttons for example if you want here you can add a button a call to action cda or a button this one for example and you can say hello there for example and we will need to go on style we can go on button colors and we can go and uh, achieve whatever we want about the hover state for example we will say that the button color will be this one and the text color this one while we over everything will change and the color will became this one and the text color will became this one okay now we can go on border and shadows and you can go on shadow outline and here we will make the same thing so we'll say vertical offset minus five horizontal offset minus five and blur about five and we go here and we decide also the color of our shadow this one we need here to be maybe five or maybe uh maybe five here okay like this it's it's better and then we can go back here and see it in action wow <laughs> that's huge update and everything it's free and at your disposal in free version of stackable i think this is one of my favorite blocks plugin because of these features because you see here how easy it is to set up these cool features also of course to uh, work on the mobile responsive um, uh, part uh, so you, you're sure that your website will look gorgeous and fine on uh, each and every device let me know if you have any question or feedback at, at this part of the video and uh, drop me down in the comment section below a line if you want there is a really really interesting feature which uh, more and more plugins are uh, are using and this is a uh, blocks default which means that you can go here on the stackable option you can scroll down and you can see that there are these blocks defaults. This is great because if you need to style your blocks and uh, to give them a custom design before to, uh, in order to be able to have this custom design uh, as your starting point, for example, buttons, let's say buttons, you can go and, and click here and edit and, um, and save this kind of uh, blocks default. Let's see how it works. For example, now if I add a button, a new button, I go here, I, I click on plus, I select this button for example and as you can see it's a uh, kind of a standard bat button with uh, white text and uh, a custom blue background which is the normal background of my WordPress theme so if you want the buttons to appear like this one as a as default as a default uh, without having to do all, all the time the same work you just need to um, apply this styling for example now I have applied them here you will go we'll need to go here on the three dots you scroll down and you click on save as default button block so now when you go back here and you decide to add a new button you will see voila that's it the button will be with the same styling this is great so you will know that uh, in the each and every block that is using a button your custom default style will be applied for example if I use a CTA a CTA block in this case let's go and find it CTA call to action you will see that inside the CTA block there is a button and voila, that's it. It has already my custom styling, which is great. And um, you can also style whatever you want. You can also style the whole block, for example, this CTA block, if I want to change it a little bit, I can style it. I can go here on the options and I can go on block. I can add a background, for example. No, I didn't want to add a background only on the title, but I wanted to work in the global CTA, okay. In the styling options, container background, I will be able to change, for example, this this color or this one, and I can change also the color of the title. Uh, let's say that we want it to be a little bit bigger, or we can just leave it like this and go and change the color. And here, the same thing, typography, we can we can change the color. Click on update. We can also change, for example, the back uh, the um, and now let's say that we are happy with this CTA and we want all the CTAs on our blog, on our website to be like this. So we can go here, we can click on save as default call to action block. But before doing so, let's see what happens if we try to, need to add a new call to action. So let's say call to action. And as you can see here, I click on default layout and it will be like this. If I want to save this as default, I just go here. 
I click on save as default call to action block. When I go back here and I try to add a new call to action block, I will see it in action immediately. So each call to action block, voila, will start like this. So let's go on now and uh, see how you can use this, um, this uh, how do you say, this block defaults. When you go here on stackable, you can hover here and click on block defaults. And without having to add all, each and every block to your page and customizing it, you can just go here and click on the little pencil. For example, if you want to change this, uh, uh, this icon, here you go here it will open in a new page you will be able to style this option uh, this element in this case it's an icon block I can go here and I can also upload a different kind of icon if I want a different icon to be the, uh, the default one for example this one I can go here change the color of my icon I can go and change the uh, icon shape and the where is the icon actual internal color maybe I can use this one okay like this I can go and change the opacity, background shape, icon shape, and and so on. I can change almost everything. Let's say that we want this to be like this, to change it a little bit. Oh, yes, border radius, 100, okay. And, oh, that's, that's great. Uh, I like it, I like it. And maybe we can also increase a little bit the padding, for example, by putting it to five and we can update. So now each time we go back to our page and we insert an icon, it will have the same styling. So let's go and find icon. Okay, and that's it, voila. And it didn't take, uh, it didn't save the, um, you say the icon in this case, it just starts with the star, but you can just go here and change your icon and the styling will be already applied, which is great. It's a great solution, this one. Uh, I don't think that this is um, retroactive, as you will say, as I don't know if you say it in English, but I don't know if it will, it will apply also if you, um, if you change the styling. For example, let's say that we have add some icons, like in this case, to our page, and if we go here and we change the icon, for example, and we change the styling, I don't know if it will change automatically throughout all the website, for example. Let's see here if we reload again this page. And as you can see here, it's not updating because it's not, uh, there, there are no, no global styling around this, but it's just kind of a starter point. So, uh, but it's already kind of useful. So you will need to know that this is a, a great option and you can use it if you need it, if you need to. Another cool stuff that I love about Stackable, it's that uh, it works perfectly with your team. For example, here we can get rid of this, uh, these buttons, for example. We can also reset the defaults. Let's go on defaults and we reset the styling of the buttons and also the styling of the call to action and also the styling of the icon. And when we go here, we will be able to remove buttons, okay. And now let's just add a simple button. We can go and um, switch theme, for example. I use also, I always use Bloxy theme, which works perfectly with Stackable. We can go on Add New, and there is a free version of Bloxy, which is great. And I also have a full tutorial on the premium version of Bloxy theme, which is a great theme that you can use to create almost any kind of website, professional blogs, and um, business websites or e-commerces and so on. Here, once you enable this theme, you can go on the plugins here. Okay, we can install the Bloxy Companion 2. And once we installed everything, we can also enable auto updates, which is something I always do in order to be able to have all, always the latest version of everything installed. Okay. Perfect, and now when we go and visit our website, we will see that if we go, for example, in this test page that we were uh, testing up, we can easily switch and uh, customize everything. For example, we can change colors. Let's say that we want to change colors here and we want a different color palette, this one. And the interesting stuff is when you apply the global colors to your elements. So let's say that when we are inside here in this page, we are enabling everything using the global color. So we go on the border and shadows. We just add some border and shadows here. And we are using the theme colors. The first one is here. Second one is this one. And third one here, it's already applied. Here I can go on my 
color and I can go on my hover style I can choose different color and I can do the same thing for example here in the block bottom separator I can choose this color here on the shadow this one do the same thing here so while you work always use the uh, theme colors in this case so you will be sure that all the elements will be linked to your theme in this case and for example here on my shadow the same thing okay uh, well, why the okay let's say it's like this and then we can go and about here border color this is not hover but it's normal state and we change it like this okay so let's say also that we want to apply global colors here in the container background maybe this one and the button will be also ruled by global colors this one and this will be a global color and when hover state it will be like this okay and there will be a global color here too this one and we'll do the same thing also for our border and shade shadows we'll go here and we'll do like this okay so everything now it's global here we can also get rid of this icon for the moment we can update and uh, now when we go back and view our page once we go on the customizer we will see that stackable works perfectly with our theme so in this case we can change colors we can go here and go for example using this palette wow <laughs> And it's updating automatically there are some colors that are still not updating but um, this is this is just a small bug and uh, it's uh, I think they're they're going to to correct it I hope so <laughs> in any case but as you can see all the other colors are updating correctly okay this is great so it's working quite perfectly <laughs> as I was showing you and uh, it's global and uh, the only problem is that there are some colors that are not globally changing as you will see as you see here now when I change there are some colors that are not globally changing but all the other stuff is changing correctly and it's great there is another cool feature which is the design library if we go to new page you can also choose to add contents using this design library here and you have you can choose between three kind of contents the first one is block designs the second one is UI kits which is the same one but they are just uh, organized differently and the third one is wireframes wireframes are all free and personally are my favorite starting point because they are some custom kind of sections here that you can use to create your pages for example if you want to create a home page you can start by a hero section like this one and as you see here it's uh, uh, it inherits all the styling of your theme so the fonts and the colors and the spacing all is taken by your theme and it's great and you can go on and uh, create your home page like this let's say that we want uh, a second section here you can go on design library maybe the second section you want to showcase some features and you can use this one you can uh, basically you can start uh, by creating all the content of your website very very fast without having to type in everything by hand but just starting from the grid designs starting points you can also add some uh, metrics for example in this case here so you can have a section like this one then you can go on and these are just starting points and you will see it's very easy to change images add some videos change content of course you can you can edit whatever you want Added, <laughs> edit, and uh, and so on. Let's add a, a, a last sec, one last section. For example, about the pricing tables, like uh, like this one. And so, as you will, as you can see, I just created a perfect home page in a matter of uh, seconds. Let's go and visit our page. First section, second section, third one with cool uh, elements like this, and we have a pricing a pricing plan section. And uh, if you want to change the spacing and the, um, and the all the different kind of elements, you can go and get rid of the title. For example, we can go back here and say to Stackable that we want this page to be, this first section to be content with uh, centered like this. And if, if you update now, and we go back to our website and go and visit our homepage. Okay, you'll see that the content is now aligned to the content of the website and we can also get rid of the spacing so we can go on spacing and disable spacing up and down okay so this is the first section voila 
second section, this one, and you can also space, increase spacing between the different sections like this uh, by just uh, scrolling and uh, drag and drop all the spacing. You can do the same thing here, down here. Oh, sorry, I just, okay. You can go and increase spacing also here, like this. We can increase spacing here too, and so on. So it's quite easy to, to manage all the different elements and we can go like this. And now everything, everything will look gorgeous and perfect. Voila, that's it. You also have in the, into the, your design library some block designs here, which are, some of them are premium and some others are free. If you want to know immediately which are free and which are premium, you will just go to the UI kits, which are the same, but are just organized differently. And you will see Arch, Capital, all the first nine are all free. And the others, which, is, uh, which are not uh, clickable here, in fact, uh, they are premium. So you will just go and scroll and see if there is something that interest, interests you. And this is, uh, I don't like them very much because I, um, I, don't, I don't suggest you to start with this because this styling will be uh, auto-applied and will be no global. Uh, while if you use wireframes, all this styling will be inherited for your, from your theme as was mentioning. And you see here all the buttons, the text, the fonts are all inherited from your theme, which is great. So everything is global and much easy to, um, to customize from a global point of view. In the free version of Stackable, there is a cool option that enables the fact that we can, uh, how do you say, customize one column by linking it to other columns without having to replicate the same customizations. For example, here I have to go to the back end I need to go to settings and stackable if I want to enable this option. And then I, I need to scroll down and search for block linking. In this case, it's still in beta. I can enable this feature. And once I enable this feature, I will see that when I hover different sections and columns on my page, I will see this icon here, which is a, a link icon. And when link styling is enabled, I can simply link my styling. So for example, if I make some changes to this column and I want to make the same changes to the last column, for example, I'd be able to do so by clicking on this link here and the same thing, I need to do it here. And now if I change anything, for example, if I change this image, Let's say that we want a different image. <laughs> it's a little bit difficult sometimes to reach the elements. So let's open the list view and click on image. Let's go here. We select this one. Of course, meaning about content, the upgrade won't be immediate. Just the styling will be applied. So style. And now let's say that we want, for example, uh, as an image, we want something different. We want to add some styling, we want to add maybe some uh, border radius or some borders, or maybe an image shape. Let's say that we want this image shape. And as you can see here, the same image shape is applied also to the last column. And we can also style differently the heading. We can say that we want a different kind of H2, for example, you see it upgrades immediately also in the other column, let's say that we want the H4, for example, we can change the size, apply, for example, a gradient color, like this one using global colors. And maybe we can just have a different kind of like this, and, and so on. So you see that each style I apply to one column, it's immediately and automatically applied also to the other column, you see here, I think this is a great solution if you want to speed up your design process and in some cases can be very, very useful. When you're finished and you don't want to link anymore these two columns, you just need to go like this. And when you unlink them, each change you do to one column won't be reflected to the others. Another very, very powerful feature about uh, Stackable Free it's uh, about this block, which is a post block, and it lets you create a grid of post types. And uh, in the free version, you can just use it uh, for your blog posts. But if you got the premium version, you can use this to showcase any kind of content throughout your website. And in this case, let's see how easy it is to customize and showcase, for example, your latest posts on your homepage or on your templates. Let's say that we want to create a section with your latest posts. So for example, here we can just add a title and we can make it or a column container as always, column 
this is the basic uh, section that you will use to create all your content and this is the heading we can go here and say latest post and okay now to obtain this it's very easy we just need to go on plus icon and we search for posts and that's it this is the element that we need we can choose between default and list we can say leave default in this case and we will be able to create a custom card and listing like this one i just have one article in my blog at the moment so it will appear like this and let's see how easy it is to style it we go on style here on general we can choose the number of columns for example three four five and so on let's say that we want four columns we can go on the content width if we want we can also increase or decrease gap and we can also rearrange elements for example if you want your title to be under the featured image you can do like this and now we just need to decrease the the metadata um, how do you say dimension dimensions so we go on meta here we go on sites and we go on 12 okay so everything looks better <laughs> we can also add a container background and we can also add a background color if you want we can also add some container sites and spacing or border and shadow here for example i can add a border radius about 10 and i can also add this a border color i can also change the sides of the category so i will just need to go here under category and change the sides let's say 14 i can change text color to white highlight and choose a background color like this one and i can update and basically that's it so i created a custom card and i can also switch the elements as I was showing to you in the general tab i can for example put the metadata here down at the at the end of the of the card or i can also just get rid of some elements if i don't need them when i click on update i can go and visit my page and i will see that my card that showcase my latest posts it's here <laughs> That's, that was very easy and uh, it's, a, it's a great feature, it's a great block and uh, I like it to showcase my blog post all over my website. One interesting feature that we have when we use Stackable is that for each of the main blocks that you see here, you have different kind of starting points. For example, if I choose card here, I see that I have the default one or the default number two. And if I'm using the premium version of Stackable, I also have an horizontal, a full and a, f and a faded design. So these are starting points that are very useful you, to give you some ideas or some just some starting points to design your elements. In this case, the card elements has two default uh, variation styling, or you can see the same kind of different variations if you use the feature grid for example so let's get rid of the card now and let's see the feature grid you got the default one like this but if you want you can also switch and you can go back here and use this icon here the reset layout and test the other one the float layout and if i choose the float one so I have a different kind of design depending of what I'm choosing. I can go also go back here and if I don't see anything, if I don't see anything like this, I just click here outside, I click back here and I will see again everything. I got the call to action and also for the call to action, I got a default one or a horizontal one. And as you can see, if I'm using Stackable Premium, I will have also more designs to start from. The horizontal layout, for example, it's like this and I can use this design to create my call to action, my call to action. And if I don't like it, I can go back here and switch back to the default one, for example, you see. And it's very easy, it's, uh, it's a great feature to give you different starting points to your pages and different designs and elements. If you want to test the premium features of Stackable, you can go to the official website, you just need to go on features and to click on try premium demo. And here you will be able to use the premium version of Stackable on, into this website. That's great. So you will be able to select all the different elements and use the premium features like copy and paste styles, dynamic content, and so on. Now, if you want to get the most out of Stackable, you need to buy the premium version. There is also a money back guarantee, so you can just buy it, test it out. And if it's not for you, you can also ask for a refund. 
But now let's see how you can buy this plugin. Basically, the main solution that you have when it comes to buy Stackable is to go to, the, to their official website. I leave you also my affiliate link in the description below. So thank you in advance if you want to click on this link before making your purchase and then you can buy it. But the second opportunity that you have is to go on AppSumo. And uh, it's a great website where you can find lifetime offers. And at the moment, there is also an offer for Stackable Premium. So we will see it together and make sure to check all the different steps that I will explain to you. So the first thing you can do if you want to buy Stackable is to go to their website. I also leave you the link in the description below and you will be able to choose between one of these licenses. Once you select the license that you want, you will be able to go here and choose if you want to renew annually or if you want a lifetime license. In this case, I just need to renew annually and I can use this license on unlimited websites as you see here. When I switch here, you see there are no any other options, but if I click on unlimited websites, I can also go between annually or lifetime. Okay, that's it. So if you have any um, other license that you want to renew or upgrade, you can enter your license here. Otherwise, you ju just can leave it empty here. And then if you are buying from Europe, like in my case, you can insert your VAT, for example, here, your VAT number, and you will get rid of this tax here. So that's a great solution if you are buying from Europe. And then here, if you got a promotional code, I will definitely have one, I think, and I will leave it to you in the description below. So make sure to check if there is any coupon code. Normally, I will have a 10% discount and I will leave it to you in the description below. Down here, you have to create your account that you will use when you will be um, when you will need to log in to download the, the plugin or download the, the license and so on. So use an email address and first and last name. Sometimes it, it also asks you to verify your email address and uh, stuff like this. And then here you can choose to pay with credit cards or with PayPal. So choose the payment method that you prefer and then go and review the order. After the review section, you will be able to go on the thank you page at the end of the payment process and then you will receive an email with all the details about your license. So that's great. You will receive in this email all, uh, uh, all that you need in order to create a new password to set up your account on Stackable website. So here, when you go back to the website, you will see that when you click on login, you will be able to log into your account, which is great. And uh, the other thing that you will be able to do in this email that you will receive, there are, there are, I believe, two or three emails that you will receive. In the second one, you will see that there is the license and you will be able to copy and paste the license on your website. And, in, uh, uh, and you will also have the link, the direct link to download your stackable plugin. And then if you want, you can just come back here, go to login and just go to downloads in order to be able to download your plugin. So you click on downloads and here make sure that we are refreshing the page. Perfect, so you will be able to click on download here and you will be able to download and install the premium version of Stackable. If you install this version, you won't be uh, required, it won't be uh, necessary to, get, to, um, to keep also the free version, you can get rid of it and we will see it in a moment. So this is the standard uh, process to buy Stackable, but if you are lucky enough to find this offer still online at the moment when you're watching this video, for $59 you get three lifetime license of Stackable Premium. And if you want, you can also uh, accumulate this offer uh, to get even more lifetime licenses. So what is AppSumo and how it works? Of course, it's an official website and all the um, deals that you find of this website on this website are official deals promoted directly also by the businesses that are behind these products. For example, here Stackable uh, made a deal with AppSumo and they uh, decide to promote themselves on this website by selling lifetime deals. And of course, these lifetime deals are not forever. So you will be able to find this offer only for a limited time. And this is great because you can buy lifetime licenses and you get, and you get to pay only once and then you will receive updates and support for, from Stackable directly from Stackable for, without having to renew your license. That's great. 
And by scrolling down here, you can click on plans and features and you will see how it works actually. You will also get a re review of all the options that you get access to when you pay here. And you can also accumulate and you can stack more than one code if you need to buy more licenses. You can get 10 licenses, 50 licenses or even unlimited licenses when you go and buy four codes. When you click on buy now, here you will be able to select more than one code if you want you can click on one two three and so on and you will see that if you select for example the four code license which is unlimited websites license uh, the pricing is 236 dollars which is still a very 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 low pricing compared to the agency lifetime on the actual website of stackable.com so you see here 499 and here you get 50 percent off at uh, 236 that's great and uh, if you get uh, maybe just one two you get um, if you buy two codes you will be able to use them on 10 websites and it's still very low pricing compared to the to the normal pricing and of course this is all lifetime so you don't need to renew them any any time and if you buy only one code you get access for three websites lifetime when you click on proceed to check out then you just need to sign up with google if you want or you can uh, fill up all the form here and then when you go to the payment uh, to the payment page you will be able to fill up the the last details and then you will receive a code that you can activate and you will receive per email all the different instructions that you need to install stackable on your website and activate it once you buy stackable you will see this product page on your AppSumo website and you will be able to go here and keep in mind that you have to redeem your code before the expiring date. So make sure to check this date and to redeem your code before uh, its exp expiration. So you can copy your code, you can click on redeem now and on this page you will be able to enter your AppSumo code so you will just need to paste it here. You can insert your first and last name, your email address you can agree and if you want you can also subscribe to the newsletter and then you can click on redeem AppSumo code. Once you do like this, this code will be activated on your account and also an account will be created for you at Stackable. And then you will receive this email that it's about your account and your license key and you will be able to copy and paste your license key directly from this email and you will also be able to download your plugin in the, the zip version of your plugin to install it into your website. If you want to download your plugin, you can also go directly on the website of wpstackable.com and then click on login and go and download your website from the download section. I go on downloads, I click on downloads and I will be able to download my plugin from here directly. So you can go now to your WordPress dashboard. You can go under plugins, add new. Okay, we go to upload plugin we can download the plugin directly from here or directly from the email that we received. Then we can also copy the license key, okay. Now let's click on choose file. We go on downloads, we select the file, perfect. We install the premium version of Stackable and we will be asked to insert the license key after the activation. So let's activate it and let's insert the license key here. Let's click on activate license and then we are ready to start with Stackable Premium. Voila, that's it, that was very easy. The one last thing you need to do, you go to plugins and make sure to delete the free version of Stackable. You see here, it's already there, but it's de deactivated and you can just click on delete. You don't need it anymore. While in the premium version, I suggest you also to enable auto updates, okay. Perfect, we are ready to go and test and use all the premium features of Stackable. When you use Stackable Premium, you will be able to add some content animation, like in this case, some cool uh, effects like this one, rotation and stuff like this. You will be able to add some more um, animation, like in this case, some scrolling animation, like this one. And of course, you will have a bunch of dynamic features. In this case, uh, you will be, you will be um, um, uh, you will be capable to create some custom grids using your custom post types or using uh, even the loop query loop builder that is uh, already present in WordPress and uh, you will be able to do so also using stackable blocks and dynamic features like in this case you see 
I've, I'm using all different kind of stackable blocks to create a custom query loop, a, a custom grid. In this case, I'm just using it to showcase my latest posts, but you will be able to do so to showcase uh, custom post types, WooCommerce products, and whatever you want. For example, here, let's see what we achieve when we use Stackable Premium. I go here and edit my page, and I will show you that when I'm using some elements, I will be able to retrieve some dynamic data. For example, here, if I want to show, uh, instead of this image, I want to show the, uh, how do you say, the featured image of my page, for example, I can go under the style settings, I can go on the image and I will see that there is this icon here, this dynamic field icon. And when I click it, I can go on, on field and I can scroll down and see that I will be able to choose media, in this case, featured image URL. Then I will just need to go here, set up a featured image, maybe this one. Okay. And okay, of course, I didn't save my image here. Okay, let's go back here field scrolling down media featured image url perfect i update my page now and when i go and view my page i will see that it will retrieve the dynamic image perfect so this is taken dynamically and it's thanks to stackable premium i can add basically whatever i want dynamically for example here uh, stackable is awesome if i change my mind i i say i want a dynamic field for as a title I click here and I say I want to have the post title as a dynamic field. I select my post title and I can apply. And now you see this is my post title. It's called Stackable Demo. And here I have Stackable Demo. I can change it and say Stackable is great. And it will upgrade when I update my page. I'll go and see my page. Stackable is great. You see, all is dynamic and uh, I can apply this, of course, to templates. So I can use it on single templates or archive templates and so on. And this is a great feature that allows you to create dynamic websites. So when you go down here, you, you will see that you have uh, also the option to use dynamic data inside Query Loop Builder. For example, here there is a Query Loop Builder used uh, in, with um, Gutenberg custom query, uh, query loop. And let's see if I want to, to, to build a custom one. I'll go and, and search for query loop. Query loop, there it is. I can go choose. I can choose between different kind of options, which are kind of messy. So in this case, I think I will start from scratch. So, oh, okay, these are not so messy, <laughs> but I will start from scratch. So let's say start blank. I will use a simple title and date and this is my listing and I will choose to have a grid view and I will um, change something here I will go to my pagination and I will transform it into something more interesting so I will use a column container block and I will put it like this style general I'll go to the center if it doesn't work I use this one if it doesn't work, I'll go inside here and see if there is something I can do about it. Okay, perfect. And of course, the most important thing is that I can maybe add a background from here and it looks more, okay, more tidy. Okay, now I can go here and I can get rid of this title, for example, or I can just go like this in the column container. And when I go to the column container inside the query loop, uh, maybe I will just go here and insert before a title using the, um, the dynamic data of Stackable. So I'll use a heading, okay, heading. And inside this heading, I'll decide to use a dynamic field, which is the title. So I go to the post title and apply it. And okay, that's perfect. I can get rid of the other one. So you will see that we can create a custom grid, a dynamic grid using all the dynamic elements provided by uh, Stackable. In this case, I, I can also get rid of this date, remove post date, and I can use all the column container power to create a custom grid. So for example, here in, under the block, I can also use a block background and I can use a gradient if I want. So I can use also the global colors 
okay and I can go on by editing whatever I want for example here I can add something after the heading maybe a, a post excerpt so let's go and say I want uh, to insert after an element and then let's try using the text element and let's see if there is the excerpt I don't know if there is this dynamic data at your dispo yes post, post excerpt perfect I can choose the length in this case I leave it like this and I apply perfect and I can also use a button here so for example I go to button and here in order to use uh, I can use a call to action for example read more and I can choose to um, to have different kind of design here and I can leave it like this for uh, at the moment and I can just change the link which is the most important part so I go to link I go to dynamic and I go to field I go to post URL and let's see if it works so we will apply update now we will go and see our page view page we are creating a custom grid using all stackable dynamic options and let's see if it's working correctly voila that's it it's working fine let's see if, if I click on the button here normally I will be able to go to my post and it's working fine perfect let's see let me okay that's perfect if I want I can also link the whole block so if I go here in the main column container I will go scrolling down here on the block settings or on the style settings no the block advanced I think it's the block settings let's see if it's possible to see the link options if I don't see it oh yes maybe it's because we need to go to the column let's see if I was right let's go to block yes when you go to column you see that under the block settings you you see the link settings and here you can enable your current post and your post URL link when we apply it we can update we go back to our page and then when we scroll down you will see that when you click directly on the column here it's already linked to your post that's great that's a huge solution if you want to have a custom grid which is working fine when you click whatever you want here in the column and you can also of course add a custom image so let's go on the image let's say that we want uh, the featured image of course we go here find we go under media and media it's here featured image URL apply update and when we update and go back here we'll see the image will appear automatically and it's already linked to the related post so when we click here the post will load that's great and you see that's easy it's very easy to create custom grids using all the dynamic data and the dynamic options inserted in your in your stackable premium and of course you got also some powerful options uh, not using the query loop but just using the uh, stackable um, blog posts for example here when you go and search for the stackable posts element this one you see that uh, you got some more options so when you go on style you go on general and you'll see not not on general sorry but on query query you see that you can also change post type which is not possible if you're using stackable free but when you use stackable premium yes you see all your custom post types here you can showcase pages for example you can choose to exclude some post IDs you can hide the current post you can display specific post IDs if you want and so on this is really really interesting and of course you can also choose between different layouts we got also some layouts for portfolio this is great and it's very very nice one and uh, and so on so let's say that we want this layout to showcase our latest posts we can go back here and choose post types post uh, this is not working fine because we have some not very cool uh, background images because we are using images with text on uh, on them so maybe we will need to change and use an horizontal or uh, an image card like this or maybe it's working better with pages you see horizontal or image card this one it's great this is it's great I love it 
and it works very very uh, interesting way in an interesting way so when we update we'll see on view page when we go here we scroll down we see that our voila our post uh, grid it's uh, it's getting uh, it's very nice. Of course, I need to add some uh, featured image to all my pages. The only page which has a featured image at the moment is this one, so it's looking uh, it's looking gorgeous. But uh, uh, if I go back here and I continue editing, I see that I have a lot of different options, not only for from the query, but only even here for from the um, layout options. I got a lot of different kind of elements. You see, I can also use this one, and there are very very nice. Uh, design options at my disposal when I need to to get creative and use this kind of designs. Uh, here I can also have a different container background. For example, when, when there are no images, I can choose a different background color, for example, this one. And if I choose to, um, in under the query element, I choose to use this one, oldest to newest. Maybe there are some other pages which have some background image, but no, at the moment, no. So let's leave it like this. And if I go back here and reload the page, I just see my grid. This is great. It's um, it's a great grid and uh, it comes with uh, a lot of useful options. And of course, you can also increase the, uh, how do you say, the um, background offset, the background overlay in this case. So if I need to showcase my elements differently, I can go scroll back here to my post listing like this and I can change the elements. So I go under the container background. I see if there is some background color that I can apply and the opacity here, of course. But most of all, I can go on the featured image and I can go here and see if it's possible to add an overlay opacity like this one for example okay that's great you see it becomes more easy to read you can use different solutions like this one for example you can also use gradient colors this one and this one for example this is great and you can also increase opacity so this is great maybe you will need to change the color of the of the metadata so of the meta we'll go here under meta and we can change colors we can go and use this one or this one update and when we go back to our page and reload the page it's looking like this that's great so uh, i think stackable premium has a lot of different uh, layouts pre-made layouts that uh, are very useful and you can build up portfolio very easily you can uh, you can showcase all your post types differently using these um, pre-made se settings it's it's kind of great and it's it's huge so basically this was the interesting part regarding dynamic listing and dynamic fun functionalities of Stackable Premium. When you use Stackable Premium, you also got a beautiful option which allows you to test between different uh, starting points, between different designs. Let's say, for example, that we want to insert some beautiful cards like this ones that you see here on the screen. We just need to go, let's click on new page and let's insert some new designs. So Stackable Test, okay. We go here on the plus icon. Maybe let's get rid of the, okay, let's go on full screen mode. And here we can select, for example, the feature element. And for each of the main elements of Stackable, once you select them, you will be able to see that you can choose between different designs, different starting points. This is great. So for example, let's use the first one here. And let's say that we want more columns. So let's go on column here and uh, I will need maybe three columns like this or maybe even just two columns okay so in the let's go back here okay two columns number two okay let's go back here and re-add again the feature block feature and let's say we want uh, maybe uh, this one Okay, and now to the left side, to the right side, we go and choose another kind of feature block. We choose to use this one. Okay, so now let's 
select the images the first one it's like this and the second one will be the same image just to test it out and voila that's it if you want you can also test with different combinations so you can go back on the feature uh, this is the second feature block for example and you can test a different kind of solutions you can go here on the reset layout button which is a great solution <laughs> and you can go and use this one or you can go and use this one and so on so you will be able to test in a quick way different kind of designs starting from scratch this is great let's go back to the other one let's go under feature let's say that we want something more playful so we go here and once we are ready we can save or publish our page go and preview and you will see that in no time we just built up two different layouts completely different layouts without having to mess with the options of the block. So this is great. This is a great solution and it's uh, very useful when you use Stackable Premium to test out stuff and designs using this uh, different kind of layouts provided by Stackable Premium. You, as, you also have the same thing uh, as I was mentioning before when you use different kind of blocks. So let's get rid of this column container here. Let's add a new one, for example, a new column container. Okay, maybe a two columns one. When you go here and you select, for example, uh, uh, another kind of block, let's say that you want um, a counter block. Okay, in this case, there's nothing, <laughs> nothing special. But if you select a card block, you go here, you have a default layout, default number two, horizontal, full and faded. This is great. So if you choose faded, for example, you will be able to use a different kind of background image and let's say that we want to use the same image that we were using normally. So we'll go here like this. We select the image. Okay, this was not the right part. Uh, it's, it was here, okay. No, why not? It's not working, container background. Okay, background image, block background uh, is it this one no it's not working oh maybe it's here on style and we just need to scroll under the image yeah select image okay that was easier as a... okay that's it so you see you got a beautiful uh, element here but you can also change you can go on full and of course you will need to fade a little bit here so you will need to add an overlay color maybe this one and to play around with the elements like this. Okay, so you saw how easy it is to switch between different kind of layouts. You got also the horizontal one and so on. And basically for each of the most important blocks here, you will have, uh, you, will, you, can, you will be able to choose between different designs. For example, this one, it's great, horizontal number two. And this is a call to action horizontally. And you can also switch between different horizontal you can also switch using the default one and if you don't like it you can go back to the horizontal number two and so on so this is the call to action block but as i was mentioning all the different kind of blocks the main blocks will have different kind of variation styling variations also the pricing block if you go here you'll see that when you add your pricing block not the pricing but the, the pricing box this one you will uh, be able to choose between selectioned, sectioned, banner, colored, compact, default, colored. Let's see. Colored is this one. And you can easily create also a pricing table, for example. If, for example, here on the right side, we will be able to add some different pricing box using a compact one, for example, like this, you see. And you can create custom pricing tables like this very easily let's see what we are building now <laughs> we have a call to action a card here pricing block like this a pricing block like that and so on and uh, this is a great option so let's play around and uh, tell me if you, there's something you you like about this and if you have any feedback just write me down in the comment section below when you use stackable premium you will be able to go to des design library and you will be able to access hundreds of different kind of templates. For example, you can go here on UI kits and you will be able to scroll down and see all the different UI kits. There are very uh, various um, hundreds of them. And you will see there are very interesting designs 
you will be able to scroll and switch and see if there is something that it's okay for you and just by clicking on the different elements you'll be able to add them to your page the only um, different uh, the only part here is that you will be able you won't be able to uh, connect this globally to your theme unless you go specifically go here and change the options of each uh, design styling but it's um, it's very useful and uh, very easy to add some blocks and custom styling from the design library. I personally prefer, prefer to use wireframes and they are just at your disposal even in the free version because they inherit all the global styling and uh, this is great when you need to change colors, fonts and stuff and everything updates based on the options of your theme. So it's better, I prefer this. As you see here, when you scroll down, all the styling that, you, that, are, that are applied to this section, for example, are the styling that are uh, handmade and hand co uh, how do you say hand selected in uh, in this block but this styling for example are the styling of of my website so i don't need to change them in each and every section and block but they get updated when i update them through my customizer for example this is a way more uh, easy and uh, powerful way to create your websites. I show you all the step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create a website using Bloxy and Stackable. Uh, and there is a tutorial in cards of this video and in the description below. When using Stackable Premium, there is a great feature that saves you a ton of time, uh, which is this one. So once you uh, you finish creating something and styling something let's say that we want to style a, a button exactly like this one you can just go here we will need to add uh, another button for example okay let's say that we want the exact same button as this one so when when we hover it will have the same effect and it will have also this beautiful gradient effect and so on uh, in order to do so, we just need to go here to this button. We go here on this icon, we can click on copy styles. We go back here to our button and we say paste styles. And that's it. <laughs> that was very easy. This is a great solution, uh, of course, if you work on something huge like this. In this case, maybe we want to replicate the same um, FX or same styling. Uh, uh, let's say that we want to apply, I don't know, uh, maybe in uh, this one. Let's say that in this image, we want to apply the same style to this other image. We go here, paste style, and that's it. So it's very easy and quick when we use this kind of option. We also have some cool uh, entrance animations like this one. When I reload my page, you'll see that there are, there is this cool effect. I'll show you in a moment how to create this. And I also have some scrolling effects like this one that I can apply throughout my pages and my elements. And um, these are all effects that you can achieve using Stackable Premium. And for example, in this page, if I want to apply an effect to these two elements, I can go here to the column, for example, I can go to the advanced tab, I can go on transform, in this case to motion effects, and I can go here and select, for example, an entrance animation. And I can say that I want my horizontal position to be different from the starting point. Let's say that we want it to start from 50. And this one here, we want it to start from minus 50. Let's see how it will behave. So we update our page, we reload the page. And when we scroll down, when we will arrive to that section, let's see what will happen. That's it, wow, <laughs> that's a great effect. In, in order to see it um, a little bit better, we will use it in, a, in an empty page. So let's go here and edit this page. We go here and get rid of this column and we just paste this column here in that page. We click on copy block. We go here and we insert our block, we paste. Okay, that's it. We update now and we can go and visit our page. You see that the effect that we applied, it's, uh, it's great, it's a great effect. It's like the stuff are coming from the center of the page. And uh, we can also get rid from, of the title just to see better the elements. So let's go uh, here, post title disabled, disabled, update. And if you want, you can also have different effects. So let's see now. Voila, 
now it works like this. You can also change the speed of this effect. For example, let's go back in the first column here. <clears throat> And let's say that we want it to be a little bit different the effect. So let's go on advanced motion effect. And we can say that this effect should be slow. Okay. And we can also go on the second column and we will say that the effect should be slow too. So when we reload the page, we will see, voila, it's very slow. We can go and also do the opposite. We can make it fast. We can also have a delay. So for example, in the column number two, we can choose to have a delay about 0 0.8 seconds. And in the first column, maybe we will have a delay of two seconds. And when we reload our page, we will see that the first will be the right one and the second will be the left one. That's great. So you can play around with all these options and obtain the exact animation that you want. You can also use scaling, rotation. For example, here, if we do like this, we'll see that the element will rotate while appearing like this and so on. And you can also use the same effects, but um, uh, on the scroll animation. Scroll animation works a little bit differently. So for example, let's say that in the left side now we want uh, uh, to use a scroll animation. We will use also the smooth scroll animation and we will translate under the um, Y axis. For example, minus 100. Let's see what happens when we reload the page now. The element will be immediately there and maybe we'll just need to add some more content to our page. So let's say that we will add some columns here. Mm, insert after, okay, this will be a column like this, like this, like this, images, this one, like this, and then we'll go here and text. Let's add a custom paragraph like this, and uh, let's duplicate this. We just need to go on the alignment settings and we can duplicate this like this. Duplicate. Okay. Update. Let's go back here. Okay. Now we can test stuff out. So let's see if uh, I add something. Maybe I can also add something to my uh, to my feature. To my left, to my right one here. Let's go on advanced, and I will just do something easier. Maybe we can remove columns here, and let's say that we want to add some effects to this image here. We go on advanced, we go on motion effects, we go on scroll animation, and we go on translate y, and we go on one minus one hundred thirty. Let's see what happens. Nothing happens, <laughs> perfect. So maybe we just need to play around with different elements. Nothing happens too. And maybe we just need to go with more content. Or well, let's say that we will try to apply this motion effects to the, um, to the wall column, for example, like this. Okay, now you see, okay, maybe it wasn't working because we were applying it uh, at the first section and there, there were no scrolling, so it's impossible to see them. If you see here, I apply the translate X. Uh, we can also translate uh, X like this and we can translate X like this here on the advanced tab. We go to motion effects, uh, scroll animation and we can translate X in this way. So let's see, when we scroll down now, we'll see that the elements with will be like this. That's great. So it's kind of, they are meeting together while, while we scroll down like this. And the effect is repeated while I'm scrolling. So this is just one idea, but you can, uh, you can play around. You can use the same stuff here. You can scale, blur, skew, and rotate, and play around. The only, the only limitation here is that you can't see what you're editing while you're here in the backend, uh, which is a little bit frustrating because you can't see what are you uh, doing, what you're doing, but once you go here, you will see your animation in place. <laughs> That's great. 
you will just need to go step by step and you will see that uh, it will become more and more familiar while you're, you, you get familiar with all these kind of different options and variables. So that's it, that's it. This is the uh, animations that you can achieve when you use Stackable Premium. And of course, when you use your fantasy, you can achieve almost anything. Let's see now some other cool uh, advanced options from a design point of view. You will have some cool mask effects for all the images. For example, if you choose to select this image, you will need to scroll down here. And when you go under the options, image shape, you'll see that you can choose between a huge amount of different shapes. And for example, let's say you want to apply this shape and you will be able to uh, come have a different kind of shapes for your images, but uh, not only for images, also for uh, backgrounds. And you can you can combine different images like this and shapes to obtain some different and cool designs. As you see here, I'm obtaining this cool shape. There is also another cool effect, which is this one. You see, you can link all the over status to different elements inside uh, a block. For example, here I've linked all the different hover status to my text here, my text color, and my button with all this uh, shadow effect, you see? So when I when I hover with the mouse here, you'll see all the elements trigger their hover status. How do you achieve this? It's very easy. You just need to select a column. In this case, I'm using this right column, and you insert some content. For example, a heading in this case. Hi there. You can also use a text. And then you can use a button, this one. Now, if you want to use this, this cool effect to link all your uh, column to, uh, the, to, uh, to trigger the hover status, you can go under the column settings here and you can add a container background. So you will see that there is a background applied to all the elements. You will be able also to choose to use a different background color if you want. Let's say that uh, we want to use uh, um, this color here. Maybe we will need also to change the button colors. So we'll go here and use different kind of colors. Maybe this one and use different text color like this. And now we want everything to change when we hover with mouse, like in this case uh, on the left side. So we just need to go here in the first color. Um, let's say that we want to change, uh, first thing we want to change the background. So let's go on container background. And we say that when we are on hover status, we want to change the color of the background. We will use the same color that we use in this example. And we will need to go now to the first heading here. <clears throat> and we will say, we'll scroll down here we will say text color, but this, in this case, we will not use the hover option, but we will use the parent hovered. So let's select power, parent hovered state and we change the color, voila. So it will become white and we'll do the same thing here for the text. So we go on text color, hover state, parent, parent hover, and we put it on the white. So now when we go over the element, you'll see everything is changing. And if you want, you can also add a, an, um, an option to the button here. And we can change, for example, something like border and shadows. And we can add a shadow outline, for example. But before, we will just need to choose parent hovered. We go here, we add a shadow color, for example, a white one. And we go under the blur settings, we increase the blurring, we increase the spread for example like this we go under the vertical offset like this a horizontal office offset like this that's it it was very easy so now when we go and go back under the normal settings when we are here oh i i accidentally changed also the border radius but that's okay when we update we'll see that also in the front end when we over the element everything is changing that's great, you see? And it's a great effect if you want to increase the attention to some elements. And if you want, you can also use it in combination with the fact that when you select a column, you will see under the style option, under the block option, that you also have a link option. So you can link a whole column to whatever you want, to a page or to a, a URL in general. So for example, let's say that we want to link this to our homepage. 
we'll go and uh, or to our page uh, for example this page we can update and now if someone clicks on the whole column it will be redirected to the page perfect that's working fine <laughs> When using Stackable Premium, we have a cool, really, really cool feature, which is a feature that allows us to show or hide some content based on some uh, some custom options. For example, here, uh, if I want, I can choose to display this box here only to uh, people that are logged in, for example. So, uh, hi, I know, uh, or let's say that it's uh, the contrary. So only to people that are not logged in. So, hi you are not logged in and then here i can say for example login okay and in order to show this box here only to people that are not logged in i can go and select the whole column for example i can go on advanced and i can go under conditional display show on condition max and I can add a new condition. Here I can choose a condition type. I can go and say, for example, login status. And I will say login status, logged in, logged out users. So only users that are logged out will see this block here. If I click on update and I go and see and visit my page here, and I can reload it again, you see that that block has disappeared. So I see only this block. Let's say that this block, I want to show it only to people that are logged in. So let's go here and let's say, hi, welcome to your dashboard, for example. Okay. Okay. And let's say that we select this column here. We go to advanced, we go to visibility show on condition match and add new condition login status and we say logged in users we update so now when we reload this page we see that we are logged in so we correctly see this element but we if we logged out now we'll see the other one let's go back to that page and that's it hi you're not logged in login that's great that's a great feature very useful in many cases and of course you don't have only the limitation of the login logout status but you can play on user roles you can show or hide content based on date and time for example you can choose to show a block or a cta only when there is black friday uh, promotion uh, active or only on monday for example if you have some uh, some you, you need maybe to showcase um, a custom message to your visitors uh, during the weekend you can do so by creating uh, a custom uh, a custom element that you will see that will be visible only for example date and time and you'll say only on sundays for example and you can go and use custom PHP if you are a developer. You can also use conditional tags, you can use query strings, you can use post meta, and you can really, really go in detail and choose how to show or hide content based on dynamic visibility, conditional display. This is a great solution, even if you are creating maybe some membership website or stuff like this. Sometimes when you use, when you navigate your website using mobile and tablet mode, um, you need to use different kind of column order. For example, here in this case, if I go and preview my elements through tablet mode, okay, that's still okay. But when I go on mobile mode, I see there is an image and a text, and then I see there is a text and, a, and an image. In some cases, to keep the things more, um, more ordered, more uh, well organized, I just need to go and have an image and a text and an image and a text. How I can achieve this solution? I just need to go on the desktop mode. I can go here on the options of my columns. So I select my outer column here, but I go on the second one. So let's say here, the second one. Let's go on advanced. I scroll down until I find my responsive mode options. And as you can see here, I can rearrange columns on mobile and on tablet. And if I want, for example, I can do this on only on mobile. And let's say that I want the second one to be before. 
So when I switch and preview on my mo mobile tab mode, you see there is image, text, and image and text. This is a great solution to have more control on how you see elements on mobile and tablet. That's great. It's very easy, but very simple to set up and very, very useful in many cases. Thank you very much for watching this video. I am leaving you some good resources in the description below, so make sure to check them. Now you can comment the video if you have any question. You can leave me a thumbs up if you like the video. And of course, you can subscribe if you like and if you love WordPress tutorials, reviews, deals and news. If you're interested in learning how to create a WordPress website using Stackable and Bloxy theme, I leave you the complete tutorial in the cards of this video and in the description below. You will also find a complete review of Bloxy Premium features if you are interested in buying Bloxy Pro theme. So that's it. I hope that you find this video useful and if you have any ideas or comment just write me down in the comment section below. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and see you in the next video.